couple of things that I thought uh, turned the game on, around, and that was that the uh, when Appling went out with his fouls, that's what got going, and that hurt us a little bit. Um, the way we finished up the half, I thought hurt us a little bit, but the way we started out the second half was the difference in the game. I thought, uh, you know, all the things we had been doing such a good job of, and they weren't, it wasn't like getting the ball inside or anything. We didn't do a very good job of that, but we were defending, we were rebounding, we were rebounding the daylights out of the ball in the first half. And they got some second shots and uh, made some plays. Uh, if you would have told me that uh, they're going to go, you know, 0 for 12 from the three, but when you're dunking it, why should you, why should you shoot any shots? Uh, the number of points in the paint, the number of points off turnovers for the difference in the game, and they deserve to win it. So, questions on that? Um, curious on that last possession. What's the thought? What you were looking for to get out of that? Well, we were looking to get Gary a. A shot at the top of the key for Keith getting in, and we didn't run it right. I mean, we had a couple freshmen in there, and one of them, we, sh we struggled with it. And uh, so that's my fault. I probably, I didn't know where Keith was at the time as far as, uh, you know, he was frustrated by turning the ball over. So I, I thought I'd uh, go to Gary, and man, we did the right thing, and we just didn't execute it right. Tom, their defense sort of struggled in that Penn State loss. What was the difference between that and today? And I think they tournaments. played better defense, and I think we played worse offense. Uh, you know, it's like I said about them at our place. I, I don't think um, you know, they don't press, they don't pressure, pressure. Yeah, and we turned the ball over 18 times. I mean, we had guys just dribbling it off their feet and different things like that. And so, I, you know, they played good defense, uh, but to rebound like we did and to uh, to not get the ball inside like we. That was one of the big game plans. I thought they did a decent job on, on uh, Knicks, but I thought we could have got it into paint and he was floating around the perimeter. So that's my fault, not his. Tom, can you talk about what you see, uh, Adrian, with the ball there? Did you think about letting that break go, or did you see no, him with the ball? You think no, about don't even go there. Okay. He was almost turning it over. That's why I called it. I was going to let it go. That's why. But when he took two dribbles and there were three guys around him, we had 18 turnovers. No, definitely not. Wasn't even. It was in Appling's hands I was going to do that. Not in pain's hands. I was also wondering if the, uh, it seemed like you were having a conversation with Hardaway a couple times. And what, what, was there anything there? Okay. Good player, good kid. Tom, can you talk a little about, was that the decision with go with Appling on the inbound right. because of the turnover and his mental? No, no, no. I, I, Appling actually was going to get the ball back. <coughs> I know you say, well, four seconds, but just trust me, it was a play that we were going to run in that way. It was. I think it would have been open if the first guy would have ran it right. The first guy didn't, and it changed and allowed them to switch. Just the way it goes. Tom, you, you worried a little bit about Keith and his sight. Like, you right? I'm really not. I mean, I thought in a way he pushed the ball, and you know, most of the time he checked pretty well. You know, when he got in foul trouble, we had to change some things. Uh, he pushed the ball a lot better than he's been pushing it. And I missed some shots, but uh, that last play, uh, give Burke credit, made a hell of a play. I don't, I don't blame that on Appling. Like I said, if we would have played better, some of our bigs and our other guys inside early in that half, we would have been in that position. So I'm really not worried about uh, Appling. Um, that was more last week. We had a good week of practice. He pushed the ball better than he has in a long time. Um, played pretty good defense. You know, even though he had that turnover at the end, remember, he's the guy that caused their turnover to get the ball back to us. So, uh, you know, him and Gary played pretty hard. Uh, even though a loss is a loss, when the way your team defended and rebounded and held them without any three pointers, how do you view this game? Obviously disappointed, but did you see some? Uh, and I know it's three straight losses, but it seems each of the three has been just yeah. like that, close. Yeah, the three straight losses don't bother me as much because I told you it's all in the schedule. You know, if we would have lost to Indiana, then played two teams we could have beaten, then lost to Ohio State, played a team we could have beaten, then lost to Michigan, nobody would say anything. You know. When you lose them all in a row, and that's just the way the schedule goes. You could have lost the same games, and people wouldn't panic as much. But uh, you are right that, uh, you know, there's probably some good things to take out of it that we did. But uh, inside, we didn't, uh, you know, that started the second half. I think Derek got frustrated that he was getting, that he was getting, you know, pushed some, and that he was getting fronted some. And uh, to give their guys credit, they did a good job on that. And that kind of got him out of it, then we made those turnovers, and those turnovers led to right to layups and dunks. I mean, in the half court, 
didn't score much. It was in the, the turnovers. Did you give them credit? Not tough. I don't know if the box score proved but Trice in the second half. I don't know if he got in Mitch. Was he okay, or was that just a That's good question. Um, I don't know if he was okay or not. I wasn't okay. You know, I didn't like the way we handled the end of that first half. And, and you know, a 64-foot shot, you know, um, that he took there. And, you know, Crab's got to learn that he's been out for three weeks and he's got to come back and be solid. And I think he wants to make up for all the time. So it's just not the time for him. And uh, that's the way we went. Um, you alluded to it off the top, but how disappointed are you? Michigan's not an inside team that they were able to be so effective. Inside. Well, I mean, I give them credit, but don't give them too much. I mean, we didn't throw it in there. We just we just got away from our game plan. I don't know why. Um, we didn't post as deep. We did not uh, couldn't keep pain in there at all. You know, hitting those two threes is a blessing and a curse because then you start floating around. So. Um, we didn't make Robinson cover him at all in the block, and then we get on at one time, and they call a charge going sideways. I thought that was question mark, but at the same time, when he's never in there, I don't blame him. Um, so that's totally on me. We did not. Uh, I mean, they did a good job of fronting next, but uh, we did a poor job of, of getting the ball in there and staying with the game plan that we had. I, I also met Michigan getting it inside, though. Yeah, well, they did get it in there some. But, you know, that's Burke. When, it, when he gets to that free throw line, he's inside of it, he's more effective. But if you're talking about points in a paint, you mean, yeah. you know, probably 40 of the 44 were on fast break layups and dunks. So don't get confused with post moves. And, and uh, points in the paint means, you know, if they score a layup or they score down there, if it's on the break or if it's in the half court, it's the same thing. And I, I think they got a lot of them in the, on the break. Tom, how big of a mental hurdle was it for you guys at the beginning of the second half when those, those fouls started to hit one after another after another and just trying to make sure you stay calm? And yeah, I don't think we handled that very well, you know, um, at all. And I, that's why I thought the game got away from us a little bit, you know. I you always know, look at the end of the beginning, but I really felt that was a key moment, um, those first five minutes of the second half. And even though the game was close, um, I think they got some confidence in that period. Got time for one more. Time to talk about their freshmen. Uh, Stouches, of course, goes out with the elbow in the first half, but LeBert and McGeary kind of fill in and yeah. bring you know, up big wins. LeBert did, did a great job. I thought he was more aggressive. He's, he's just a shooter. And he was more aggressive with the ball. He did a nice job. And, and McGeary got some you know, rebounds, and he hits the one big shot, and he makes the two free throws. He's shooting 30 some percent. Give him credit, though, he hit him. So I thought their two freshmen played well. I thought our three freshmen played pretty well. Uh, we kind of beat the daylights out of Harris. And, he wore down a little bit there at the end, but uh, hey, they got a good team, they got good players. Uh, you know, we, we, we again did a pretty good job on Hardaway. We did a uh, you know a, a decent job on Burke. I mean, we made him earn his baskets, and and he did earn his baskets. And uh, we did a decent job keeping him off the foul line. We did a decent job of rebounding. So as you said, we did some real good things, but uh, unfortunately, good isn't good enough in this league. And good isn't even close to good enough when you're on the road. So uh, we're going to have to lick our wounds. Uh, they, earned it, they earned the victory, and we're going to have to regroup. But uh, there are going to be some positive things I'll take out of here. Uh, we did defend some things very well. And uh, I thought it was our offense more than our defense. I'm sure they had something to do with it. I'm sure we had some blame on it. So thanks a lot.